this is so this is so overwhelming guys this is so much stuff on my table out of this closet <laughs> my channel today I'm just gonna organize this linen closet yeah I do need to paint in here and eventually my husband is going to replace these shelves but that is not going to be today and I really need to get some organization in this closet so that I can find stuff since we've moved in here I have sort of straightened up but I've tried to put some sort of organization in here I grabbed these bins from other places in the house my plan was to use all these bins down here to really get some organization on the shelves, but they're just not big enough for all of the things that I need to store in here. Some of this stuff I am going to purge, but because this is the only real linen closet that we have in the house, the only closet space that we have in the hall to store our cleaning products, our um, towels, any linens or anything, toilet paper that we might have, any extra laundry detergent that I like to have on hand, this is where I would go. Eventually, I do want to replace these wire shelves because I absolutely hate them. They're not deep enough for what this closet could accommodate. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of this closet and put it on my dining table. And then we will go from there. All right, guys, I'm taking everything out of the closet. everything out of this closet I and I still have this <laughs> to take out and I'm pretty sure that some of this stuff has probably spilled on my floor which I don't like because these tiles are absolutely horrid we're eventually going to replace them but anyway I'm going to go ahead and finish taking all this stuff out <sighs> and we'll continue have these on hand all right guys I have cleared this entire linen closet out and I would really love for my husband to paint this um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna stop here and I'm going to see if my husband can go ahead and paint this before I put everything back in. All right guys, we are done painting the closet and now I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of my things and purge a little bit and put everything back. As you can see, we didn't get to paint the trim just yet. We are gonna come back and do that a little bit later. We just had so much going on this weekend that we just didn't really get to do all that we had planned. But as promised, this closet has been cleaned out and there's not a whole ton I can do about this floor. I absolutely hate this slate floor. This is exactly the way it was when we moved in. And we've gotten bids on um, what we can do to fix it. However, 
it is going to cost an arm and a leg to have all of this taken up and then to put new flooring down. We are, you know, planning to have that done hopefully within the next year. Um, but as of right now, this is what we have <laughs> on the floor of my closet. I'm probably going to just go and purchase a little carpet or a piece of um, like a small rug or something to put down in here for the time being until we can get this floor replaced. But this is all about organizing my closet today. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then show you guys the finished product. This is so, this is so overwhelming, guys. This is so much stuff on my table out of this closet. So we're just going to see what we can make fit back in the closet. And um, if I have to get rid of some more stuff, then I definitely know where I can donate or maybe just see if a family member can use it. So let's go ahead and get everything put in baskets and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what the closet looks like. So I got these really cool baskets at Target for $7 a piece. I will try and link them below for you guys if I can. But um, yeah, these are really, really nice baskets. They're, they are plastic, but they look like actual baskets. And so I like the fact that they're a little bit taller as opposed to the shorter kind of wider baskets. And I like that they're not as deep as other baskets as well. I'll show you guys from the side because um, I don't have a lot of depth as far as the shelving in my closet. Hopefully we can change that sometime in the future because I do not like the shelving that's in there. This video is all about working with what it is um, you already have and just kind of inexpensively adding small things to kind of spruce it up. And I think seven bucks a basket is pretty inexpensive as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this stuff in these baskets, guys, and then I'll come back and show you guys how it turns out. These are the last two containers with things in them that I'm down to. And all the stuff in here is gonna go in my bathroom. I found these um, little refills for my Schick Intuition. I actually don't have the handle for this anymore, but I'm actually gonna go and buy another one because I really, really like these. And I didn't even know these, these were in my closet because there was so much stuff just kind of piled in there. So that's gonna go in my bathroom. And this little sample of mouthwash that I got from Grove Collaborative was actually in my closet as well. So I'm gonna put this in my bathroom so I can try it out. I may try and see if I can reuse these um, little baskets somewhere to organize some of our school stuff. I needed another shoe box in my closet, so I'm actually going to relocate this and use this in my closet for some shoes. And this is some hair products that we are actually in the process of using for my daughter's hair. And I was keeping this in the linen closet just because she didn't have a lot of space in her room and I don't really have a lot in mine. But I think just for the sake of keeping everything organized and just making sure that I have a space for everything and just being able to go and find this whenever I need it to do her hair. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. I'm gonna find some place in my bathroom to keep this because it's not very big and it's just the stuff that we're currently using. I do have some extra items that we do keep in the linen closet and I will show you guys those things in just a second once I show you the finished product of my, my newly organized closet. And this also was like <laughs> on top of this little container with all this hair stuff in here. But we need this spray bottle also for my daughter's hair. So all this stuff is just gonna be relocated. And these towels, I'm just going to toss in the wash because they need a, a good washing. That is it guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my closet looks like now. All right guys, this is the finished product. I have all these really, really cute baskets in here that I purchased from Target, and I really love the way they look in here. Guys, this is not Pinterest worthy at all. As you can see, I did kind of have to figure out some uh, storage for this, because I really do need that. That's got a lot of my cleaner, uh, my different cleaners in there that I need that I use quite often. I really like this little caddy that I got from Grove Collaborative. And so I kind of like to keep it on display and somewhat handy so I can just grab it when I need it to go and clean some things. So that's there. In these two baskets on the very bottom shelf, I just have my extra laundry detergent. I have my bottles of peroxide because 
they fit perfectly um, in between these two baskets. I didn't have a container that was narrow enough to just kind of slide in between those baskets. So I just set those there. I figured that's neat enough. I can find them when I need them. They don't look super messy. Again, this is not Pinterest worthy. This is meant to be functional. And here's a ton of my Grove collaborative products. I say a ton because there's actually more guys. Um, in this basket, there's a little bit more overflow from my Grove Collaborative um, cleaners and dish washing and dish liquid. There's a few more in here, but mostly what's in here are my different hand soaps because again, we don't have a ton of storage in our bathroom to keep a lot of extra products. So I do like to use the linen closet for that purpose. This basket is completely empty because I'm going to put towels in it. I'm going to fold them and put the larger towels in here. And this is my steamer. I Right now, this is the perfect spot for it. I've kept it on the shelf in my laundry room and it doesn't really fit in there because I have a really tiny laundry room and there's just not a lot of storage in there. So it fits nice and neat in here and I feel like I can grab it whenever I need it to steam some clothing. This is our little first aid kit. I am gonna go through this and maybe add some things and take some things away. But for now, this is what we have in our little first aid kit. Just some little Band-Aids, some Motrin. I think some Tylenol is in there. And just different little, um, uh, just the typical things that you would look for in an emergency kit that you would keep in your closet. So I feel like in this little shoe box, it fits nice and neat with all the things that I have in there. And I just kind of have it stacked on top of these two baskets for now. Not Pinterest worthy, I know. But again, we're going for functionality. All right, in this basket up here, there are extra shampoos and conditioners that I do purchase whenever I do a little bit of couponing. All right, in here, this basket just kind of has some miscellaneous items in here. There's a couple door stops in there. There are some little hooks to hang things on the wall. I also have some light bulbs in there. So that's just kind of where we keep the extra stuff that I didn't really have uh, a basket. I didn't wanna um, put these things separately in their own little basket because there's not a lot of those things. So anyway, that's gonna be kept up there. And then the very last part of my closet is the very bottom. Again, I hate the floor, but I absolutely love this basket that I have the toilet paper in. I got these at Target, I don't know how long ago, guys. I got these quite a, quite a long time ago at Target. And they were on clearance. I have another one in my closet. I was going to try and put them both in here, honestly, and I may try to just stack the other one on top of this and maybe just store some extra toilet paper that way. But right now it's in my closet and it just is housing extra hangers, which I'm probably going to try and get rid of in the near future when I organize our master closet. So be on the lookout for that video. But anyway, this is what the bottom of the linen closet looks like right now. I really hope to get some kind of a rug to put down there to kind of cover the ugly floor, but at least until we can get it replaced. But all I have down here is my toilet paper in this basket and just some extra hand soap refills. That is it guys. This is the finished product of my linen closet. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them in the box below and I will talk to you guys in the next one.